بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا ورسولنا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه ومن سلك وتبع طريقهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين My dear respected brothers and sisters السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته If you remember in the last episode we were talking about Yunus عليه السلام and inshallah today we're gonna be inshallah continuing the same subject about Yunus alayhi salam, the story, the lessons from the story of Yunus alayhi salam in the Quran. As you know from this story is that we understand the importance of constant praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in Surah Al-Safat, Ayah 144 and Ayah 143 and 44. Had he not been of them who glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he would have indeed remained inside its belly, it's inside the belly of the fish till the day of resurrection. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that like from this story that we are one of the important things that all of us we should memorize the importance, the dua of the Yunus alayhi salam while he was in the belly of the whale. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu min al-zalimi. Please all of, all of us we should memorize. It's very important dua, especially in the time of the difficulties, in the time of the distress, Try to read this du'a. You're gonna see Allah Subhanahu. You, you're gonna see the relief from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Inshallah. What we can learn from this beautiful story, my dear respected brothers and sisters, we learn we learn from this story that not only we should be patient in all matters of our life, but we should repent to Allah Subhanahu wa Taala often, and should constantly remember Him and say His praises as that can help save us from the tough situation in, in our life. When we know that we have sinned against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the right thing for us to do as a repentant slave is to seek forgiveness from Allah. Feel remorseful. Go into sujood. Maybe try to pray nawafil salah. Say some dua and ask for forgiveness. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves those who repent sincerely. If you remember, I remind you before also, Prophet Sallallahu he said that Tubu ila Allah, fa inni atubu ila Allah fil yawmi akthar min miyata marra. Ask forgiveness from Allah because I am asking forgiveness from Allah more than 100 times a day. That he was a prophet, what about us, my dear respected brothers and sisters? The whole encounter with the fish started because Prophet Yunus alayhi salam left his people in anger. Even though the person preaching Islam wishes differently, the reality is that seeing the fruits of, of our da'wah can take time. You may preach, preach to, the, to the deen of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to your friend and your, your family and for your surrounding for years and they will never accept the message or a few of them, they will accept the message. This does not mean that you should stop. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa peace be upon him, preached the message of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his uncle from the beginning of Islam. Till his uncle was on his deathbed. But unfortunately, he did not become a Muslim. He still died without accepting Islam. Because hidayah is not from him. It's not in his hand. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, إِنَّكَ لَا تَحْدِي مَنْ أَحْبَبْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهِ يَهْدِي مَنْ يَشَاءُ You cannot bring people into religion, but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, who he, is, he will bring the people into religion and guides to people to the straight path. The Prophet sallallahu wife Khadija radiallahu anha was part of the first people to spread the message of Islam. But she never lived to see a victory like the conquest of Mecca. Dawah may take long, may be difficult and unsuccessful, but with patience and the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, a Muslim should never stop doing it. We have to know that the road of Dawah is not spread 
with rows verily full of the thorn and difficulties. We have to show our patience when we are in this road with sincerity of intention. Many times at the peak of our challenges, there is the temptation to give in to despair. You wonder why life seems to be going well for everyone else except you, or why you go from one misfortune to another. It is at the peak that we need to hold even more firmly to Allah, uh, to our belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that he will remove our trials from us and bring us victory the way he brought Prophet Yunus back to dry land. We have to believe in the love and mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, dear brothers and sisters. Imagine how Prophet Yunus alayhi salam world were surprised to discover that the fish didn't eat him. This was a mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said this out as a lesson to his prophet and all of us. And he commanded the fish to only swallow and not eat Yunus alayhi salam. This reminds us that even when we have wronged ourselves and sinned, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala still showers us with his mercy instead of destroying us out of anger. This story is a reminder of the importance of dua and adhkar. Glorify Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as much as you can in a day. Recite the Quran and wake up at night to make dua. When you enter your car, try to be, connect yourself with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you enter your house, when you sleep, make your dua and, and tell yourself, maybe today is my, my last night and I will never wake up. And it happens to so many people like that. They slept, but they couldn't wake up. It is not in our hand. Dear brothers and sisters, even this is, this is a lesson that no matter how far you think, that you have gone in your disobedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with sincere repentance, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will bring you out of your situation and grant you forgiveness and respite. Have you ever felt that you are faced with a situation that you see no way of getting out of? Do you look at the issues that the world is facing today, dear brothers and sisters, and wonder how they can ever be solved. The timeless story of Prophet Yunus salam, teaches us that there is always a way out if only we have faith. If you ever felt like you are in the belly of a whale surrounded by darkness and seemingly no way out, do what the Prophet Yunus did, never give up and trust in Al Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is especially vital now as we are faced with one of the biggest trials of humankind with COVID-19. Years from now, you will be telling this story to your children and grandchildren. You will be telling them, those days when we were locked down in our houses, many of us lost their jobs. We couldn't hug each other with the brotherly and sisterly hug. We had to keep our social distance from each other six feet. We couldn't kiss each other. We couldn't visit each other's house. We couldn't invite each, each other. And we couldn't to go masjid because even masjids were closed because of our safety. We have to use our mask outside of our houses. Soap and hygienic supplies were in demand, so we couldn't find in every store. My dear brothers and sisters, this current times may be tough, strange, and certainly scary for too many people. But one thing's for sure as Muslims, turning to our faith during this period is the first step to navigating the new realities of, of life. For the hardships are those blessed opportunities for us to raise our faith towards Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Finally, the dua of Prophet Yunus is not only easy to remember, 
but it is regular saying can have a very positive effect in our life. Let's memorize together again this important dua. La ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minad zalimin. Again, la ilaha illa anta subhanaka inni kuntu minad zalimin. لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين. We're gonna finish here this subject إن شاء الله. For the next episode, we're gonna have another prophet from Quran, and we're gonna be taking the lessons from the story of those prophets إن شاء الله. May Allah سبحانه وتعالى guide us to the straight path, and may Allah سبحانه وتعالى save us from this distress. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala enter us to the Jannah, inshallah, without any account, without any hisab. See you next episode. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.